Hello everyone, welcome to lab 6.4.1.4 from Big Data and Analytics course from Cisco. In this last lab in this course, we are I'm going to show you how to make or to build a smile detection application through this tutorial. And uh, what we need to this uh, to do this lab, we need one computer with com with Internet access. Of course, we need a Raspberry Pi version 2 or higher and also we need some libraries uh, with Python and we need uh, data files for the data set which is the first one smile.jpg and the second one non smile.jpg okay so in the background here we are going to use a machine learning model both to detect um, a face inside an image and to understand whether the detected face is smiling so when they build a real-time smile detector, this will use the take picture. So when you when the character or the person inside the uh, picture is smiling, then the automatically picture or photo will be taken about him. Okay, so first in part one, we are going to detect faces. We will learn how to detect faces and then we will uh, use data processing for face standardization. And in part 3, we will load a pre-trained model. And in part 4, we will see the application, which real-time application for a smile detection. All right, so first, what is a supervised learning? Actually, in a traditional program, we give an input, we give an algorithm, a computer computes or determines the output. In the case of the supervised learning, actually, or in a supervised machine learning, we give an input, we give an output, and the computer finds out what is the algorithm implemented, and then we will uh, use this algorithm automatically. Okay, so here we have a model evaluation. Uh, actually, first, so I'm jumping to step one, which is import libraries, the one that we would like to mention uh, about uh, this course uh, or in this lab or in this chapter is about OpenCV. OpenCV is an open source computer vision and machine learning software library OpenCV was built uh, to provide a common infrastructure for computer vision uh, applications and to accelerate the use of machine perception in command products or sorry in commercial products however it has C++, C++, uh, Python and Java interfaces the problem is that uh, with Python it's a little slower uh, but another important so when we use this model inside C or C++, it's much fa it's faster than uh, Python. But the advantage of Python is that it can be easily extended with C++ or C, and this feature helps us to write a computationally intensive code in C++ and degrade the Python wrapper for it, and then we can use the, this uh, in Python. However, if you would like to know more about this, you can go through this link. The file is available in the description box through a link that you can find there. Alright, so first let's import uh, the CV2, uh, which is uh, uh, the Python version of OpenCV, because OpenCV is, CV2 is in Python, this is in C++, or other uh, languages, and other libraries to load and debut the images. So let's load the import the CV, and then we import a display we also import matplot then we are going to read and test the data as we mentioned we need the data in the machine learning and the data is uh, in the two images the first one is a smile and the second one is non smile which can be reached from under images in this directory these two files or these two pic photos or pictures or jpeg will be also available in the description box and then we need to visualize the test so let's check the output and then this is the picture for smile and this is for uh, no smile okay so here we go, can go through the code we made subplot for two figures and then for image show and then we have the gray and then the axis of by the way if we will do that this one so we will have the axis around the photo okay then we have face detection and this uh, face detection we will um, like um, select the file that used the uh, hard features so what is hard features if you would like to stop this video and go and please and search about what is hard features 
and that's actually here in a nutshell or in a small as a subtract or in a summary are filters this like that highlights different structures inside an image so it uses it can be used to as a filter or filters to be applied on uh, on a specific image and we do it here we have an image we apply this hard like on it okay we use it now to find out if the picture or there is a face or not in the picture uh, and then we will see if the face is smiling or not all right so here we can uh, read the data from it for this this is under data and this is in a ca cascade but and then we initialize the model for detecting whether a certain portion of the image contains a face or not so this is to check if there is a face or not no we don't talk about smiling right now and then we convert the frame into grayscale this is what we have got for a smile we work now on a smile image and then we check there and then we can draw a red or a green figure or green rectangular around the face all right so till now we are like um, trying to only reach the the face and we put a rectangular uh, around it the rectangular here is a green this is the width of this rectangular fill we don't fill it and here we need to only emphasize that to retrieve the information from the image we have applied an image for object we are reached here for our faces and then we have for a face we get uh, the x y position y position and then the width and then horizontal and we put them from the face and then we draw the face here so now we have a task that we have to repeat uh, other test image to detect the face of OpenCV on the second image which was not a smile okay so to do this let's take this one from here we are applying for the face at the same so this will work okay so here we have this one we need to have to the one related to the faces which is this one so we can take it as it as it is from here because we will repeat the same so for the faces we extract the information we need okay all of this face is here and then Let's run this code. Okay, it seems good. And then here we need to specify. So let's put it here like this one. So, so to only just make it different than the original one. And then we need to draw rectangular. Here we also need to draw the rectangular, so this line will be good. This one should be red. this one for no smile okay let's try it okay we forget here to uh, import image no smile so let's take this one okay 
okay so we have now the uh, okay so after that we will move forward to now after we detect or we detected a face in the image then we move forward to process data for face standardization and uh, here what we actually would we are going to do first we are going to select the portion that will be used to classify whether the face is smiling or not so we already uh, reached the face now we will see if the face is smiling or not so here we select only the face portion from the smile test uh, image uh, and then we uh, then cropping coefficient for determining the size of the face uh, and then we calculate how to crop the face here is the vertical the dimension representing by the blue and here is the horizontal dimension representing by the edge which we already extracted from x y w h smile at the beginning uh, we reached them here they are here all right then we repeat for uh, the other image or, or, or actually repeat for the other test image we will do also the same here okay so uh, here we have face smile so let's take it and then we do it for face not smile or no smile and then we just put here no smile the one however this file sold will be able uh, available in the description box so you can check it uh, or you can double check it and then after that we run uh, the original image with the corrupted one put that like close to the smile or not smile okay so then uh, we also like here uh, how would be the coefficient cv and ch affected the detection of the face this is a, here a good question if you would like to answer then actually the two coefficients determine the amount of the detected faces would be cut for the corrupted images and uh, whole here we, as a, a modification is needed uh, so that the data points are compatible with the pre-trained model the faces must be 64 multiplied by 64 pixels and this means that the aspect uh, ratio will change so it's possible to achieve this by using the zoom function from uh, sci-fi and the image this, if you need more information you can click here on this uh, link however to do this we need to import the zoom and we also need to import numpy and then we make a standardized uh, face to make it compatible with, uh, with the trained data and then we made the value between 0 and 1 we divide it between each each pixel is between 0 and 20, 225 so we like um, convert the value between to divided by 255 to make it between 0 and 1 okay now let's repeat the other uh, for the other test images okay let's take this from here Okay, and we have now the zoom with the specified format. Uh, we may do subplot and then we write them to show with the same color map is gray and we have the output here. Now in the third part we are going to load a pre-trained model. Uh, to import the pre-trained model we have to use the module uh, pico uh, from Python library and then we open the file which is under this directory uh, under this name this file also will be available in the description box and then we run a classifier in it and after that we um, for each classifier we have to predict then let's predict this one and here is the output of the face for smile or not the smile so 
Um, here actually we need to print something this person is particular is a smile here you can print what you want this is not smiling and the last application or the last part we will detect we make a propagation that if you are running your camera and uh, it's smile automatically will take a selfie and the selfie will be in a specific folder called selfie here we import the model uh, the model uh, called uh, simple utilities and then we put the uh, coefficients and then uh, we are going to run this program as a smile detector actually now the program is running here let's do a little test so I'm going to put the picture from the internet close to the camera and as you can see a face is already detected and there is a small also okay so now I have to stop program Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much and um, don't forget all the materials will be available in the, in the description box and please try to do it and make selfie for about yourself and let me know if it's automatically uh, working or not. And this is also to make a selfie and save it in a selfies folder. Okay, thank you very much and see you.